What is going on, Taurus gang? Welcome back to Jewelry Box Tarot with your girl Jess. Here to drop these jewels. We're going to grab a Valentine's Day read. I selected a few readings, uh, a few zodiacs, and you were one of the selected. You were actually in first place. So we're going to see who's coming towards you and what's the T on them. It's kind of like Valentine's Day edition. But um, so you can have somebody coming towards you who's. In a commitment already, they could be married or separated from their person or going through some sort of divorce. All right, this person, um, for some of you guys, you also could be dealing with somebody who has multiple baby mamas or baby daddies. Okay, um, some of you also have an ex returning here who is trying to kiss your ass and make up with you because they see you moving on, they see you looking good, and they know that you have new love because you're open to it. Um, somebody could want to come in and they're saying watch out for this person because their only interest will be about sex, okay? This person could um, always want to, like, go out, spend, have you spend a lot of money and stuff like that. But then it's, like, just about sex and you probably don't hear much about this person. It's a player energy. Some of you also have a person who don't want to be a player anymore, okay? Or somebody who is known as a player in the, in the community, but they're changing their ways or they've changed their ways because they want you. So... Take whichever fits, but we're going to get into it and see what we get here for you guys in terms of love. General message, guys. So please take what's for you. Leave the rest behind. If you need to book a personal, I am here for it. You can go on my website. It's listed below. It's listed on the video. <laughs> and I look forward to seeing you there. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. So let's see. Passion. Yeah. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So let's see. We're going to grab a love oracle. Divine Holy Spirit, what do we have here for Taurus? We have a true love coming out. Okay, this is the romance of a lifetime. And we have, it's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So yeah, we're picking up on good love energy. There are some things to be alert for on the lookout, but this is giving good love. Look, as I said, I pay attention to the red flags because you're, I feel like you have multiple people coming towards you, but you're going to be able to weed out who is not good for you, okay? So yeah, here to make friends, you know, if somebody says, you know, that that's all they want, believe in it, okay? Yeah, in the fantasy. I feel like you also have somebody who could have felt like, yeah, I'm sorry, what it says. I'm sorry, I'm the worst. I fucked up, okay? Somebody who could have also friend zoned you is now making boss moves and realizing that they want to be with you. So they're, they want to try to fix that, like come out of this friend zone energy with you. And some of you may not, you know, feel like you want to do that again because you're just like, wow, why now? Like we've been friends, everything's been cool for all this time. Like when I wanted it, you didn't want that. You said that's not what it was, you know. We accepted the terms, <laughs> but it's like there's always been this love there, and you, you have wondered about this energy, about this person. So, let's see. Let's get the main energy between you and this love interest. Let's see. Oh, we're going to pull from the top. Oh, we're pulling from the top. All right. So the main energy here, yeah, there's a silver lining. Sister Mary, like I said, it was like, hey, we agreed on this. Like, we're, we're friends. That's cool, whatever. But it's like now this person's looking at you in a different light. I feel like this person also feels that, you know, it's safe to love you, that you're not going to hurt them. You're not like anyone else that they've ran across. They're probably used to always friends on them, people because they're used to people getting up and leaving or playing them. Or again, like I said, this was a player energy. And they don't want you in a friend zone. They don't want no more friends. No new friends. No old friends. No thought friends. They don't want them anymore. They want you, okay? The energy you're in, yeah, you're the caregiver. Queen of flutes, queen of cups. We got Aquarius out here. We have cancer energy, all right? But they see you as somebody who's very loving, very giving, very nurturing, very kind, okay? The fact that you have, you know, gave them your heart, even in a platonic level, it makes this person love you even deeper and realize that you're somebody that's worth spending life with. Yeah, the beauty queen, queen of roses, queen of wands, okay, Aries energy. Like somebody could even feel like this person is like 
second place goods or like runner up because it's like, well, they've been out here, they a hoe, da 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 da. There could be a lot of people trying to also, you know, throw salt or shade on this person so that you don't mess with them. But it's like you get a whole different side to this person compared to everyone else. Yeah, challenge winner, six of roses, six of wands. Okay. <laughs> There's people around who this goes kind of a couple ways. Okay, we got two sixes out here, Rule 66. All right. There's a lot of people who are going, and I, I, it was like a travel line. I seen tra like travel, travel line communication. Somebody keeps, so this is going two ways. It's either that somebody is saying these things about your person because they want them and they're upset that this person didn't choose them. So they're trying to tarnish them and make them look bad because they could never get this person to act right. Okay, this could even be like somebody's ex, this person's ex or something like that. And for some of you, this is also somebody who, you know, you thought you was cool with. Like, you know, they fucked with you the strong way you could trust them. But they don't want to see you end up with somebody who's good. Like, this person treats you good and they see that. And they don't want to see this victory. They don't want to see you have this love here. Okay? Yeah, two of flutes. Cheers. Two of cups, though. You're still open and being, you know, loving. You're so, you still care about this person. You know, you still celebrate with this person. All right. Whether or not this is going to be a true romance, like a lover, like you're still going to be friends with this person. It doesn't matter because y'all have a different type of bond. Like y'all cool with each other. Yeah, this person, Will of Fortune, fixed energy towards the Hugo, along with Scorpio, Aquarius, and Leo. This person's rolling the dice. They're taking a chance with you. Okay. And there's more sixes. Okay. Something could be significant with the 16th or the month of June, okay? But this person is saying that they need to take a chance and they're going to take this chance with you because they care about you. They love you. Look, all these sixes, butterflies, six of flutes, six of cups. This is so many energy. Yeah, look at this chariot, the limo. This person, they want to go places with you. They want to go far with you. They can see this. Yeah, Red Sharon Rose, they're coming in to let you know this. Well, there's four mirrors, Libra energy, justice energy. They're laying all the bullshit on the line. And it's just like, no, like, I want you, Taurus. I'm going to, like, and this is just what it is. Okay? Yeah, confirmation. Let's see. Turn that six into a nine now. Let's get some... um. T on this person. Yeah, I feel like this person don't even care what other people have to say about them or you. They know that they have a stock or that their exes and stuff are stalking them. Their groupies. They know they got hella groupies. People are going to try to block this. People are going to come and try to act like they're you. Okay, that's still this person. This person knows that people are trying to catfish them. People could be trying to catfish you as well, but this person is dodging bullets. Okay, they're not fucking with them karmic energies no more. No more of those karmic friends. And because they're not these people out here talking hella SHIT about them, okay? Feeling like they know shit about this person and trying to like... But they're telling lies or they're talking about a past person that does not exist anymore okay yeah screenshots okay they're sure old shit the t on this person is that somebody has screenshots on them okay whoever's lurking and watching this person they got screenshots on this person okay yeah this is somebody who's trying to kiss their ass though like this person is out here telling all these lies and then they're hoping that this person does come and like check them or whatever because then they're going to try to like kiss their ass and like be good to them and oh it wasn't supposed to be like that and oh i didn't know forgive me you know i care about you i wouldn't do that this person's a happiness hater they see them moving on this could be this person's ex how this could be their friend but this person is too busy winning okay i feel like this person could be Getting a new car, okay? Or going through car issues. Or they have bigger shit to fry, like bigger fish to fry. That's why they're not focused on this person. Yeah. Somebody also caught a case out here, all right? Somebody sick. I feel like they sick of their bullshit. What's this carless energy for the tea on this person? Oh, Jesus. Ego, her ego, ego getting away in a relationship, hustling. Yeah, this person, they could have car issues right now, or they could have been sharing a car with somebody, so they're working on getting their own shit together right now, all right? Yeah, your light irritates their demons. This also could be the person that they're dealing with, their ex, who's upset, their ex, or, you know, their friends or whoever don't got shit, and they know that if this person gonna mess with you, they're not gonna get the same access to this person, 
Okay, like I said, this person could have been a player, they could have been on the streets, they could have been the life of the party, and now people see that they want to settle down and they don't want this to happen. Okay, but they're dodging this bullet when it comes to this energy around them, these people. Yeah, like I said, because these people are always partying, this person don't want to do that no more. Yeah, they're tired of faking the funk, they want something real, they want real love with you. Okay? So you ain't got to worry about that. This person, matter of fact, what is these screenshots? What is the screenshots? Yeah, see? Somebody who talking shit, trying to show old shit of what this person been doing. Or has done. They about to show you party pictures from, like, 2019 type shit. 2019, New Year's, before COVID. Like, they about to show you, like, a side of the... Yeah, because they trying to cock block. Somebody, like, they got they about to show a whole bunch of old shit. Post a bunch of old shit. I'm even seeing exes or whatever posting pictures of them and this person. Like, they still together and they ain't been together in years. Or that photo was taken years ago type shit. Oh, throwback Thursday. <laughs> Woman crush Wednesday. My baby mama always going to be mine. We always going to have each other's back. Some stupid shit like that. Yeah, but it's no facts. None of that shit is real. It's all lies. Like, they're not together, bro. And it's fake. It was fake then and it's still fake now. Like, what the fuck? What's this kissing ass? This person coming around trying to kiss their ass. Yeah, they're trying to kiss this person ass because they know that this person's into you and they're trying to dig up dirt, even get dirt dug up on you so that they can try to tarnish you. or try They probably don't even know your name. They're trying to figure out your name, like get your last name or some shit like that so they can look you up online. This a broke-ass motherfucker. They broke in spirit. They broke in everything. Definitely broke in spirit, though. Yeah, thank you. Next, moving on. They, they're not hearing nothing that this person has to say this person is not speaking any type of facts they're not saying or doing anything that's lucrative to this person's energy and they're just like fuck you go on with your life leave me alone yeah please go ahead go take care of that somebody's telling somebody to go take care of themselves i feel like you know that caught a case that um i feel like that could just be somebody also caught a mental case yeah because this person's a drama starter i feel like this person also could be trying yeah and they stalk like they're fucking crazy but your person ain't worried about whoever this is. This person done been doing a whole bunch of shit. They don't went and dealt with other people. Why they busy trying to dig up dirt on you or whatever to slander your name. They out here got their own shit they need to go take care of. Somebody need to go see a doctor. ASAP. Why they busy out here trying to move around the community and stuff and find out things about you. They need to go and worry about them. So we're going to get a confession from your soulmate, from this person coming towards you. What do you have to say? Thank you. We have sleepless. Okay. Anxiety keeps me awake at night. My life has changed since I met you. I am trying to figure out what this all means. I don't want to lose you. The thought of you are not being with me really keeps me up at night. Oh, bad grammatics. Okay, what's the time on that clock? 4.33. Okay, that could be a significant time for you as well. Then we have I miss you underneath the deck. Okay. Your eyes, your smile, your voice, your scent, your touch. I am missing everything. Remember how we connected physically over our lifetimes together? My life for you is boundless and unconditional. I miss you being next to me. Wherever I go, I search for you everywhere. Okay, so despite whatever they've been saying, they want to take this friendship to the next level. Okay, they can't. Um, I can't eat, babe. I can't sleep, babe. Without you in my life, they want you. They need you because they know that what you guys have is real. Like I'm telling you, it started off as friendship, and this is something where they realize, you know, this is the one. You are the prototype. You're the prototype, Taurus. That has been your message. I hope you have a wonderful love day, okay? Even though, um, and it's funny, I said prototype, um, happy Valentine's Day. Every day is the 14th, in the great words of Andre 3000. You know I love your face. If you need me, I'm here. Book below. Till the next time we speak. Peace out.